I can. That's right. You gotta come up with uh, things to do while you wait. Things to think about. Things to talk to yourself about. Activities. You know, like, when... Uh, I go on a, a road trip. I have coloring books. And that would keep me occupied. Because I'd be doing something, you know? I wouldn't just be watching something. I'd be doing something. And I don't think that people realize, like, how much of a disservice they are doing themselves. How much is of a disservice they're doing their children? Like, just always having a TV to distract them. Like, I get it. TV's nice, you know, every once in a while. It's nice to kick back and be mindlessly entertained. I mean, there, there's some good shows. There's some good shows. I'm not... I'm not gonna deny that that entertainment's out there. But... It's really unhealthy. If all you do is distract yourself... Then... How are you going to be anything more than a piece of shit mass consumer, you know? Like that. Look at all these little thingies. Look. Mm -hmm. It's like anytime I get disappointed with society, which is quite often, you know, I just look around at the leaves and, and I, I think that I can appreciate stuff that doesn't have anything to do with, you know, modernity. 
Like, I know I'm somewhat of a hypocrite because, you know, I drive and I have a job that uses technology. And, uh, you know, I've always been a stickler for, like, you know, doing things the old way. And it's weird because, you know, I, I used to be, like, way more, you know, socially liberal, way more, like, you know, kind of anything goes philosophy. And I still have a lot of that in relation to, you know, the way that I treat people. Like, I'm not going to tell people what to do because I can't stand that authoritative tactic and it's 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 not very helpful either like when you're a total control freak and you insist on people doing everything in the exact way that you do it you're really annoying you know? And you're the type of person that they do all those those uh, videos on narcissism about, you know? Like, there's so many videos, dude. Maybe it's my algorithm, because my algorithm knows that, that I'm into psychology. So it's just showing me all these videos about narcissistic supply and, like, how powerful the Sigma empath really is, you know? <laughs> Just all the, all the different videos they have about mental health. <laughs> it's amusing, but you know, those videos are a thousand times more helpful than, than a psychiatrist will ever be. Like the, the entire psychi psychiatric profession ain't got shit on these, uh, like narcissist recovery coaches, <laughs> you know? Like I feel like like these YouTubers have way more to offer because at least they have done, you know, research on these personality disorders. Whereas psychiatrists all they do is run away from people that have personality disorders and they say that they can't help anybody. Well, yeah, because people that have personality disorders are smart enough to know that medication doesn't fucking work. The only people dumb enough to believe that. Like, yeah, look, I'm sorry if I sound like a cunt, because I know that, like, one out of four Americans is on medication, but why do you think I hate Americans? <laughs> they sit in their shit, they complain that it stinks. They can't just accept the fact that life is hard. Life is really, really hard. And it's way harder if you don't know your purpose. So it would be in your best interest to figure out what the fuck that is so that you don't have to pretend that you need medication in order to go to work, okay? If it seems like I'm speaking out of turn, 